How's it going everyone? Now the beer review and uh, today is going to be Bass Pale Ale which happens to be number one exported beer from uh, England and funny enough I haven't had a chance to try this one out yet and this is going to be my first time pretty much the problem was that uh, I think they're clearing up uh, on this beer for some stupid reason I don't even know why um, I had to actually go and search for it I used to be around pretty much anywhere at least in my neck of the woods but uh, I had to go quite a distance to get this so I figured before it's gone if if that's what's going to happen I should definitely uh, give it a try now Bass Ale is probably I mean Bass Pale is probably the one of the most known uh, uh, but pale ales around the globe and uh, it's it's you know it's a component of uh, the black and tan mix uh, which is this essentially this and Guinness although I'm sure you can use any pale ale for that reason and uh, uh, this particular bottle is 355 mils, 5.1 alcohol by volume. And uh, there's something in the back I'm going to read now. Um, Bass Pale Ale has a rich amber colour with a lovely malt and hop aroma. Bass is UK's number one exported ale. Yes, I was right in that one. Selling in over 30 countries worldwide. Since it was first brewed in uh, 1777, Bass Ale has been painted by Monet and Picasso, loved by Napoleon, served on the Titanic, and taken on the Antarctic expedition by Sir Ernest uh, Shackleton. And uh, yeah, so this this has been around uh, for for a few centuries, actually maybe even more than that. Yeah, it's established in 1777. So um, it is um, featured on the famous Monet picture. Uh, with a barmaid and it's one of the bottles in the bar and you know I, I definitely know uh, that this is a you know acclaimed beer even though it's a mass produced kind of stuff but still so without further ado we're gonna give this a generally first try Let's see how this one goes so I'm gonna attempt uh, pouring it to the center of the glass this time just to see how it goes Pours quite well, actually. Ah, that's going pretty nice, I think. And so, I can definitely smell a, a hoppy, uh, yeasty kind of aroma already. For the colour, there's not enough light, but it's a it's a copper kind of colour, uh, maybe a dark amber. It's quite pleasant actually. Which is, I mean, uh, I've definitely tried some uh, pale ales, so I, I mean, this is no surprise for me. The heads, uh, well, with this pouring method, I was able to get quite a nice kind of like three finger head. Um, it's kind of frothy and foamy, but I'm sure it's going down slowly. So I'm going to take a smell now. Yeah, it's it's very yeasty and uh, hoppy and uh, a good amount of fruit scents. I mean fruit notes in a scent. So um, let me top this off. I definitely recognize the um, sort of the appearance. Um, because I've seen uh, a load of uh, you know making black and tan videos on YouTube, so I know how this looks um, without even having tried this before. So I'm gonna give it a taste. So yeah, typical pale ale starts out very hoppy, a bit bitter mm. and yeah this is this is the kind of beer that people who uh, don't really like the bitterness uh, wouldn't probably like at all um, I'm the kind of person who, uh, I, I mean I don't mind, I, it's not my t typical, like it's not my, my favorite uh, type of ale or beer but it's good and there's a certain good amount of uh, you know the lovely fruitiness you get 
uh, the pale ales. Um, it's yeasty, as I've said, and uh, the finish is a bit, you know, a bit just a tad rough on the bitter side. But I think it's it's, it's overall it's quite well balanced, and uh, it's definitely a, a good example of the the style. It's definitely a, you know something that's been around uh, for good reason. I mean, it's not it's not something um, even though it's mass produced. Uh, it's definitely, um, you know, it's definitely worthy of of people's attention and uh, respect. So for the rating for now, I'm going to give this. Um, I mean, it didn't uh, astonish me or anything like that, but it's it's certainly good, and I'm definitely going to try making a black and tan sometime if if I can get a hold of these more of these. Uh, so I I, th I think I'm going to give this about uh, 7.9 for now out of 10. So I'll come back to this. So yeah, back to uh, back to the ale. Um, yeah, I'm gonna raise the rating just a bit. I'm gonna give this a straight eight out of ten instead of seven point nine. Uh, just because it's very drinkable overall, it's quite pleasing. And uh, you know, for me, at least for me, I'm sure this is uh, some people are gonna relate to that. Um, a pale ale is a is a type of beer you get used to. It's sort of an acquired taste. Like the first time I tried the pale ale, I, I think it was. Uh, the McCoslands version of that uh, didn't quite like it. I thought it was uh, too bitter and uh, didn't quite understand uh, why people actually like this. And uh, don't get me wrong, I was already well into the beers. It's not like uh, it was my first beer or something. But at the same time, you know, you get to uh, grow to like it more and more. And uh, this is quite enjoyable. Uh, this this particular version of Pale Ale, which is like one of the original ones, and. Uh, you get the sort of caramel notes and uh, it's quite nutty as you drink more of it and I'm not serving this too cold actually um, even though it's well chilled but you know you need a well balance between uh, being the beer being warm and you know, too bloody cold but anyways um, yeah so 8 out of 10 for Bass Pale Ale it's, uh, it's definitely a recommendation I'm gonna get more of these I actually have one more uh, lying around so great beer, um, not the best. I mean, but because it's mass produced, but it's definitely a good example of the style, and uh, I'm sure many people like this. Thanks a lot for checking out, and uh, I'll see. You. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, cheers to JJ Rudy 41, uh, Jason, uh, the new beer reviewer, for um, showing us the um, the poor method I've used in this review. Thanks a lot. It's, it's quite cool. I like this. I'm gonna try to do it more and more.